shadows and glass glass sixty. Today, I'm going to discuss about green dog. Green dog is a green vegetable which is very intimate to B6 and fiber. It's green and purple color which is very efficient for heart. It's also that the blood pressure and decreases the cholesterol level in the body. Brinjars are classified as the herb because it's not for the stem. Its fruits and berries with many seeds are either long stems. Its fruits and berries with many seeds are either long or round and vary in color according to the variety. Brinjar is mostly found in India and Sri Lanka. The scientific name of Brinjar is Solinium melongo. So, I recommend you to plant a brinjal in your house. Thank you. Everyone, I am Alexander Pradeep of Standard 60. Have you seen this fruit? Yes, it is the cherry that we see on many cakes. So, the scientific name of the plant is Caerisa carandas, commonly known as caronda or cherry. The plant is a thorny shrub with spines. They produce beautiful white flowers. Mm, their fruits are reddish white in color but turns purple when they are ripe. Fruits are round in shape. Look, this is a round example for the round shape. And have tiny seeds. The fruits occur in clusters of 3 to 10. Now, now we can see the uses of the plant. The roots of the plant help to prevent soil erosion. The plant has many medicinal uses. The leaves and the fruits help in many medicinal uses. Plant, uh, ripe, uh, unripe fruits are used to make chutneys or pickles. Ripe fruits are used to make jams, jellies, syrups or, bake for, or for baking purposes etc. Thank you. I'm Sandy from Today I'm going to explain about scrambly trees. Scrambly is also known as the Indian coffee plant. It is grown in, in lowland mountains and rainforest. It is very common in South India, especially in Kerala, commonly known as Lubica or Lalolica. It is a seedless shrub which grows up to a height of 66 to 10 meters. Its bark is light brown and leaves are lightly green and oval in shape. Its fruit are light green in when raw and deep red when ripe. Para they can be eaten both raw and cooked. They, then they have mild, sour and tangy taste. The fruits, fruits and leaves use, use as medicine for diarrhea. Its roots help in preventing toothache. The bark is used in many Ayurvedic medicines. The fruit contains calcium, phosphorus and many other minerals. It is rich in vitamin A, C and I. It boosts immunity. So try to eat scrambles. Stay home and stay safe. Good morning friends. My name is Devajit Tasman and today I am going to tell some benefits about drumstick. Drumsticks are one of those rare plant species whose seeds, flowers and and leaves are edible and it is also nutritious. The morning yam, commonly known as drumstick, is treated as a super, uh, super plant for its unique and powerful properties. This plant is used by our ancestors to make medicine. This plant is mostly used in Indian kitchens to make scrumptious delicacies. This plant helps us in maintaining our blood glucose level and it purifies our blood. This plant is also rich in vitamin A, vitamin B and folic acid. Consumption of drumsticks results in improving bone health. So drumsticks are extremely good for our health. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello, my name is Neva. I am going to introduce a special tree, gooseberry tree. Gooseberry is commonly known as Indian gooseberry, malacca tree or amla tree which is derived from the Sanskrit word Amalakis. It is a deciduous tree in the height of 8 to 10 meters. Come, now let us see the tree. This is the tree. It is famous for its edible fruit, gooseberry, which is in 
ayurvedic medicines for thousands of years yes people still use the fruit of the tree to make medicines it contains vitamin c b complex and a little iron also it is used to treat diarrhea nausea and cancer it is all it also reduce high cholesterol and body fat it boosts our immunity its usable parts are its fruit root and its skin so i recommend that you must plan this wonderful and useful tree in all our homes thank you friends i am rishika jaychandran of 6d today i am going to share some facts about the nasbari tree now i am showing before you a nasbari tree in my house which is about 60 years old